One story about this worm. There was an aquarium in the UK where the fish in the reef display kept turning up mangled by some invisible unknown predator night after night, week after week. Staff decided to set out traps overnight, so each morning they'd come in, the bait was gone, the traps were destroyed. They're mystified, they decide to dismantle the whole tank. They discover a meter-long worm that had been living there undetected for 10 years. They named him Barry. This is the bobbit worm, sometimes called a sand striker. The biggest specimen ever recorded was found in Japan. It was three meters long. Horrifying feeding habits time, kind of IRL tremors vibes. It feeds by burrowing into the sand, hiding its whole long body except for its head and antenna. And it just waits till a fish swims by. At which point it shoots out of its hole, snaps the fish with its mouth scissors, mandibles, sometimes slicing its prey in half. Then it drags the body back to the burrow to feast. This worm has a controversial name. Its common name, the bobbit worm, is a nickname that it got in 1996, and that name is a reference to a grisly crime case from 94, wherein a wife dismembered her abusive husband using a knife. Some people think maybe it's not a great idea to keep using that name for this worm. There's another controversy around the name. Its scientific name is Eunice Aphroditoas. Scientists think that this one name might actually refer to multiple species and that there might even be more than one genus.